Hi guys, I hope everybody is doing good. I just wanted to make a quick video about the new features in SQL Server 2017 edition. Microsoft has introduced various exciting features which makes this edition a one-stop shop for all of your data needs. And even if you're not a Windows user, if you're a Linux user, they are pretty important things or uh, exciting concepts that you can look out for. Things like Linux-based Docker containers and Windows are some of the exciting features of this edition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give you the new features. I'm not going into deep about these new features. I'll be covering or making that video in the later sections or as part two of this video. So I just wanted to give you a basic idea of main features when we talk about SQL Server 2017. So let's get started. So firstly, we'll talk about the database engine. And uh, the first thing that the Microsoft have done is introduce the concept of automatic database tuning. So what happens is the op query optimizer will automatically take care of the pitfalls or the shortcomings in the query that you are executing and it will apply operations automatically so that uh, you don't have to worry about doing any manual things. The second feature is select into. Now using the select into prior to 2017, you had to make the table in the same file group as was there with the original table. But with this new exciting feature, what you can do is you can introduce the table into a new file group altogether with the use of on clause. The third one is we have new string functions such as concat, translate, trim and within group. And the fourth one is now the bulk access options are available for CSV and Azure blob data files. Moving on in SSIS that is in integration services we now have a feature of scale out uh, which what it means is that you can run your SSIS package across multiple machines and there's also a 32-bit runtime property that you can use if you want to run your packages in 32-bit environment and now with the uh, focus towards moving Linux what Microsoft have done is they have introduced the facility to run SSIS packages on a Linux system operating system and moving on in SSAS now we have some new sources that you can uh, use in your SSAS packages or SSAS solutions with the help of get data for example you can use the data from power query and now we ha also have 1400 compatibility level being introduced in SSAS in SSRS we have the ability to comment and attach certain things when it comes to reports. I think it's a useful feature. And one thing that I've not included over here is the machine learning uh, features. So with SQL 2017, what you get now is the ability to include or execute your Python code as well. So with 2016, you had the uh, uh, advantage of using your R code and uh, the feature that was specifically responsible for this was called R services but now the Microsoft has changed the name and they have given it the name as Microsoft learning sorry machine learning services so it includes both R and Python so you can take the advantage of SQL Server SSMS and you, you can execute the codes that you have built using your R and Python languages. So by including this or by doing this, what Microsoft is saying to you is that you can get everything that you want with SQL 2017 and with a one time payment cost and it will turn out to be a very economical experience because if you were to look for the other vendors, you will first of all have the hassle of uh, 
getting or installing the different softwares that you need but with microsoft sql 2017 you can do it with a single release or the single install and you can get all the benefits and you can play around your with your data no matter if the data is on premise data or no matter the data is residing on the cloud so you get additional advantages and uh, i think they have taken significantly a uh, good step by introducing python as one of the languages that you can run using ssms so i hope it helps in the coming classes or in the coming videos what i'll try to do is i'll try to dive into these uh, features so that we can explore how it can benefit to a developer or uh, to an admin in day-to-day -day activities so thank you for watching video stay tuned have a great day